As I'm sure you already guessed from the title and the thumbnail of the video, I bought a 2019 Denali Ultimate as my new daily driver truck. I'll get into all the specifics of why I bought it, what I'm doing with the other cars in a later video. In this video, however, what we're gonna look at is applying a coating to the truck. I'm gonna use Seacords UK 3.0. This is the kit that's needed to install Seacords successfully on a vehicle. The main and most important thing and the most expensive thing is the polisher. You're gonna want a good solid polisher, nothing from like Harbor Freight, in my opinion, is good enough. And you're gonna want a medium pad if your vehicle is as clean as mine is. I found that it only had about 10 miles when I parked it back at the dealer after a road test. So just a finishing polish for me today, we're not really gonna cut. So the next thing you'll need is a Seacords kit. Now I picked a 50 mil kit because it's a big truck and I think for two coats, I'm gonna use the entire thing. That kit's gonna include CarPro Reload. In my case, I had a little left over from doing the Audi and I got a new bottle here. And of course, this is the 50 mil of the Seacords, some cloths that are used to apply the product and to take the product off. There's gonna be instructions as well as a little sponge. Now, I would also recommend gloves and a respirator or a face mask at the minimum. So the truck is already washed and it's ready for claying. My assumption is that if you're looking to get in a coating, you probably already know how to wash your vehicle. The wash we did today is a decontamination wash. And I like to use the Adams uh, strip wash for this. Now, some people use Dawn detergent, things like that, dish soap. Don't do that. Some of those dish soaps, they have things like, you know, for brightening your dishes, all that kind of crap. Don't put that on your car. And the other last step that I did was I used uh, CarPro Iron X, which helps remove all the iron deposits. It's a lot like what you'd use on your wheels. Now, if this is your first time doing C-Quartz, yes, it is important to do a decontamination wash. It's very simple. It's almost exactly the same as a normal wash. And yes, you do have to polish the paint. So the first step of our C-Quartz process is gonna be to finalize the car decontamination with a clay bar and our detail spray. Now I've already hosed the car down with detail spray after I finished washing it, and it's not gonna have any water spots. It'll be real easy to clean up. I may have also kind of failed to show the clay bar earlier in the list of things you need to do C-Quartz, but you do need it. So guys, here's the truck. I think it looks beautiful. Now remember, it's still completely covered in detail spray. So the first thing I do is I kind of spray a little on the clay. I'm gonna get the surface nice and prepped. I do like to use gloves because, you know, sometimes you don't know what's in everything and it's just a good habit to get into. So now we're gonna kinda go all over the surface. Because this truck had so few miles, nobody's messed this paint up. It's, there's almost nothing coming back, you know, and it feels very smooth. You'll feel it catching when it encounters something. And what you wanna do is occasionally you wanna check it. And again, mine's just looking pristine. You wanna ball it up again. Whenever you run low on lube, you just spray a little more. Now guys, the goal is for the entire surface to just feel super slick. That means you've gotten all the contamination out. All right, now that you've got clay bar started, go ahead and finish. I'm gonna do the rest of this truck. Then we're gonna do the fun part, which is gonna be the polishing. All right, so the truck has been properly clay barred. It looks kind of terrible right now. However, it's time to start with the polishing and that's gonna fix everything. One real good thing that you can do for your car is to protect the plastics and materials that you're not trying to polish from the polisher using masking tape. So we have this grill over here and I'm not looking to polish it. I'm only looking to work on the paint. And now we're gonna apply the masking tape nice and careful. I think it's probably a good idea to do these headlights. There's also some little areas up here that I'd probably cover. Especially like under these door mirrors where it's all just porous, don't hit this with the polisher. It's gonna be really bad. So guys, I'm gonna be using this Adams finishing polish on this Hexlogic medium pad. I'm not gonna be doing a cut because this paint's almost perfect. So we're gonna go pretty quick. Now I am using a flex polisher and I am on the high setting. Now we can wipe up with this towel. Oh man, the paint looks beautiful under here. Now this right here is what we wanna see. Let's do the rest of the hood.
So I think that was pretty much perfect. Let's take a look with the gloss meter and compare it to the fender that we haven't done yet. All right, so I just got this thing calibrated. Let's check out the truck. All right, so here's the flat spot of the hood where this thing doesn't jiggle around and we're getting, you know, 92.2. That's not bad at all. All right, let's clean the spot up. All right, we should be able to find a flat spot. 90.3, not bad. So really what this device is telling us is that the polishing is improving things before we coat things. So now it's time to polish the rest of the truck. I'm not gonna video the entire thing, it's a pretty long process. If you do have an older car, you will likely have to go through a three-step process to really get the swirls and scratches out. I'm gonna go turn some music on and do the rest of this thing. So there we go, guys. The truck is all corrected. And I got to watch the Venom movie while doing it. It did take a little while though. I really love the paint on this truck. It's like a lighter blue than the Audi is. Man, did it come out nice. I mean, this thing is pretty much flawless right now. So let's check the interior out real quick since we're walking around. It's got the chocolate kind of dual tone leather. I really like it. I feel like I'd like a chocolate lab of this exact color. I like how that slides out. And of course, American cars have to bong to tell you the door's open. Like, I know it's open, I'm standing in it. I like how they retract. This thing does make for a really nice daily. It's got active ride control and all kinds of other really sweet features, but man, is that a lot of chrome. Between the gigantic 22 inch polished wheels and all that chrome, it's really not a subtle car, is it? But I think I can get over that. Like, I really do like overall how it drives and feels. I like the active ride control, and I'll get into a little bit more of that in a future video. We're going to apply the C-Quartz now. You're gonna need your gloves, you're gonna need a respirator. Definitely be careful with this stuff and follow safety precautions. Here's all the gear. There's one thing for you to note. Once you begin, you're on the clock. You have 60 minutes to complete all the panels so you can start your second coat before the 60 minutes run out. If you miss the 60 minute window, you will have to wait 12 hours or until the next day basically to be able to do another coat. Two coats are really pretty much required. Plan accordingly, don't use the whole bottle. Basically just try to conserve your resources so that you can finish. Furthermore, even with the second coat complete, you're back to a 60 minute timer. You need to be back to your original panel before 60 minutes have elapsed since you coated it so you can apply reload on top. Otherwise, you have to again wait 12 hours or the next day. So it's really important to time this well. Otherwise, this could become a three-day process and you don't want it to. So guys, once I put the mask on, I'm really not gonna be able to talk. You can just follow the instructions. You're also gonna wanna change the cloth out every couple of panels. Definitely leave yourself enough of these to do two coats. So think about how many panels you're gonna do and figure out how often you need to replace it. But you gotta move pretty quick to get both coats done. Hopefully you got the 50 mil kit if you're doing such a large vehicle. So that's definitely a bunch of work, especially with a mask on. It just feels like your face is just sweating like crazy. Uh, it's just not fun to breathe through that thing. But we got the hood done, one coat. There's gonna be another one that needs to be done now within 60 minutes. So keep an eye on your watch and time it out just right. Now look, it's also imperative that you get everything completely cleaned up. You can't have any streaks or anything. That stuff is gonna be basically permanent unless you hit it with your polisher again. So guys, at this point, I really just have to rush through this and do it. C-Quartz has been on with two coats. It's time to use Reload. Let me show you guys how to do it. All right, so shake the bottle up, get that ready, and you're gonna need two towels. One we're gonna use to apply, the other we're gonna use to clean up and buff off. So with this one, we just spread around. All right, now with the second towel, we buff off. Reload is super easy to apply. Go ahead and do your car, I'm gonna finish my truck. 
In the morning, I'm gonna test the water beating and you'll see that clip in just a second. Now, before we do that, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, leave me a nice comment, subscribe. You will also find Amazon affiliate links for the products we use today at the bottom in the description. If you use any of those links and buy those products or any other products on Amazon, I'll receive a very small commission. I buy most of these products myself. CarPro didn't sponsor me for this video. It was something that I just bought and I know I'm gonna use it on the truck.